The Schumann Resonance. According to Wikipedia, the Schumann Resonances are a set of spectrum peaks in the extremely low frequency portion of the Earth's electromagnetic field spectrum. Schumann Resonances are global electromagnetic resonances excited by lightning discharges in the cavity formed by the Earth's surface and the ionosphere. Our planet has a rhythm that has played a major role in governing the evolution of life. We don't just live on the Earth, we live inside it, namely in the unique cavity that is formed between the Earth's surface and ionosphere. And within that cavity, you and I swim in a veritable sea of invisible energies and oscillating fields. The smallest changes in one intertwined area carry over turbulence into others. Every second, a multitude of pulses travel around the world in this unique resonant chamber between the Earth and the ionosphere, sending colluding signals to all microorganisms. These signals couple us to the Earth's magnetic field. Named after their discoverer, these Schumann resonances drive the harmonizing pulse for life in our world. We all march to the cadence of this terrestrial drummer, our planetary heartbeat, which sets the tempo for health and well-being. Damaging this planetary heartbeat could be detrimental to all life on this planet. In the name of progress, this Earth pulse is now threatened with the ever-growing phenomenon of man-made electropollution in an advancing technological age. Brainwave Evolution Lewis B. Hainsworth was among the first to suggest that human health is linked to a geophysical framework by way of the naturally occurring Schumann extremely low frequencies. His theory identified naturally occurring features which determine the frequency spectrum of human brainwave rhythms. He concluded that the frequencies of human brainwaves evolved in response to these signals. If his theory is correct, conditions for evolutionary changes in human brainwave patterns have now been established. Hainsworth theorized that the frequencies of naturally occurring electromagnetic signals circulating in the electrically resonant cavity bounded by the Earth and the ionosphere have governed or determined the evolution or development of the frequencies of operation of the principal human brainwave signals. In particular, the alpha rhythm is so placed that it can in no circumstances suffer an extensive interference from naturally occurring signals. Commenting on the unique correlations of alpha brainwave activity and its relationship to the Earth ionospheric cavity resonance, Hainsworth has said, as human beings we have extraordinary potentials we have hardly begun to study, much less understand. Creative gifts, intuitions, and talents that are unpredictable or emergent may become stabilized in generations to come. Hopefully, we can learn to understand both our emergence from an essentially electromagnetic environment and facilitate our potential for healing, growth, and non-local communication. In a state of deep relaxation, slow rhythmic sine wave patterns in the 6 to 8 hertz range can be detected. Sympathetic resonance is a harmonic phenomenon in which a formerly passive string or vibratory body responds to external vibrations to which it has a harmonic similarity. The classic example is demonstrated with two similar tuning forks. When one of the tuning forks is struck, the other begins vibrating automatically via resonance. Certain types of oscillators can alter the environment through sympathetic resonance as well. This means that with the right kind of environmental stimulus, you can entrain standing waves not only in the brain, but in the body as well. Continually reinforced waveforms, created by resonance, can result in large oscillations which entrain other circuits in the body tuned to those frequencies. As the Earth naturally pulses at various frequencies, this acts as a kind of master entrainment signal that entrains a whole hierarchy of frequencies, including those of the human heart, brain, and mind. As wondrous as this may seem, it makes perfect sense when you realize that everything we do is done within this sea of entraining energy pulses produced by the Schumann resonances. The ionosphere that comprises the ceiling of this Schumann cavity is made up of electrically charged particles. This highly charged layer makes the ionosphere act as a kind of capacitor for the Earth. And there is a difference in electrical potential between the Earth's surface and the ionosphere, which acts as a kind of electrical generator. 
You might think of this electromagnetic field around the Earth as a kind of gel, like stiff jelly. When we move, all those movements are transmitted to the environment via this field, and vice versa. These fields not only affect our bodies, they also influence our body's electrical charge. As we stand on the ground, our body is grounded. Our body creates a kind of basin within the electrostatic field by distorting its lines of force. In 1981, Dr. Richard Allen Miller published a scientific paper in which he showed that this process couples us as human beings with the isoelectric field of the planet. The scientist after whom the Schumann resonance is named, Winifred Otto Schumann, calculated the Earth ionosphere cavity resonance frequencies in 1957. He found the most predominant standing wave to be around 7.83 hertz, or cycles per second. In a tuned system of oscillators, when one oscillator begins vibrating, the other oscillator will eventually begin vibrating at the same frequency. This process is referred to as entrainment or kindling. Kindling is also a term that refers to neuronal entrainment in the brain. As this kindling ignites more neurons globally across the surface of the brain, it helps facilitate a synchronous, coherent state of consciousness, such as that seen in deep meditation. Interestingly, the 7.83 Hz Schumann resonance falls within the range of human brainwaves, precisely in the middle where the alpha brainwave and theta brainwave ranges meet. As such, practices that elicit this range of brainwaves, such as meditation, help facilitate a deep coupling of human physiology with the Earth's Schumann resonance. Various scientific experiments have suggested that this mutual coupling of human physiology with the Earth creates a kind of resonance in which energy and information are most efficiently transferred between the two. This may be how the planet communicates with us as humans via the universal language of resonance. And this is likely one of the reasons why being out in nature can be so enlivening and healing for human beings. In his scientific paper entitled Schumann's Resonances and Human Psychobiology, Dr. Richard Allen Miller states, ample anthropological evidence shows that humans have intuitively synchronized with the planetary resonance throughout human history and back into the mists of time. There is cross-cultural evidence demonstrating a variety of ritualistic practices which enhance this harmonization with the planetary field. Perhaps the most obvious drivers of these trance states are shamanic drumming and trance dance, arguably employed for over 50,000 years. Pulsing light is another driver. A further example comes from the use in both the Jewish and Muslim faiths of bobbing and swaying while praying or reading holy books. According to Miller, this trancing phenomenon can be presumed to ingrain texts at a deeper level and to create experiences to go along with conceptual indoctrination. It may also be linked in some manner to hypnotic gesturing mudras and speech and therefore to charisma or so-called mana personalities. Mead and Bateson reported a technique transmitted to Balinese children which this culture intuitively employed to harmonize their communities. They discovered that the parents encouraged their children to vibrate parts of their body harmonizing to the Schumann resonance cycle. And you can do the same thing. You may already do it unconsciously. If you sit in a chair and move your foot so that it's resting on the ball of the foot and you get it at the right angle, your whole leg will start to vibrate. It goes into an oscillation. That oscillation is so close to the Schumann resonance cycle as to be virtually the same. And that's what Balinese parents encourage their children to do. It helps them to go into trance. Can anybody intentionally induce this healing, energizing frequency? Absolutely. There are numerous ways to entrain the human brain, heart, or even the entire human organism to the Schumann resonance. In fact, this video you are watching right now is silently entraining your entire energetic system to the Schumann resonance as I speak. If you'll recall, the beginning of this video mentions that this video uses two new forms of mind-brain technology called energetic encoding technology and scalar wave entrainment. They use completely silent entrainment frequencies to entrain your mind, 
brained, and body to the Schumann resonance. You may have noticed that you feel more centered, relaxed, grounded, and focused as you watch this. The longer you are exposed to this energy medicine technology, the stronger you will feel it. When speaking about the use of such entrainment practices and technologies in his book, Everyday Soul, Awakening the Spirit in Daily Life, author Bradford Keeney stated that its purpose is to get outside the limitations and constraints of isolated individual mind and connect with something greater. It has any number of names, but this greater mind links us to one another and to nature as a whole. It is a very natural capacity our bodies are intuitively capable of affecting, vibrating with the pulse of life itself. By consciously linking ourselves to the Schumann resonance, we are essentially taking strategic advantage of the natural harmonic relationship between the earth and ourselves. We are intimately interwoven with the earth's low frequency isoelectric, magnetic, and electrostatic fields, but modern day electropollution can often interfere with this natural connection. Numerous scientific studies have shown a positive correlation between various psi phenomena and the 7 to 8 hertz range of human brainwaves, which also just so happen to correlate with the fundamental Schumann resonance at 7.83 hertz. Michael Persinger, PhD of Laurentian University in Canada, has conducted a number of scientific experiments that have led him to theorize that the 7 to 8 hertz range of brainwave frequencies acts as a kind of entraining frequency to link the human mind and brain with the Earth's geomagnetic field. Further research has shown a strong correlation between geomagnetic activity and psychic phenomena. This has led some scientists to believe that the Earth's magnetic field can act as a kind of psychic information highway or psychic internet, and this may be why the Schumann resonance has been linked to various psychic phenomena and enhanced creativity. In the next video in the series, we'll explore this link between the geomagnetic field, the Schumann resonance, and psi phenomena even further. For now, I'll close with a quote from psi researcher Leon Sidorov. For a decade, Robert Beck researched the brainwave activity of healers from all cultures and religious backgrounds. He enumerates psychics, shamans, dowsers, Christian healers, seers, ESP readers, kahuna, santeria, wicca practitioners, and others. Independent of their belief systems, each exhibited nearly identical EEG signatures during their healing moments, a 7.8 to 8 hertz brainwave activity which lasted from one to several seconds and which was phase and frequency synchronized with the Earth's geoelectric micropulsations, the Schumann resonance.